Hey everyone, AC30 here. This is the seventh episode of my YouTube series teaching you how to set up and use the YagPDB Discord bot. In this episode, we'll be covering the auto roll module of the bot. Auto roll is a feature that allows you to give every user a roll automatically when they join the server. You can also specify the number of minutes of membership required for them to get the roll or even set required roles to get the roll. It sounds complicated, but looking at the panel, it makes sense. So let's see this feature up so that every new member gets the member role when they join the server. To do this, we're going to have to go to our Discord server and create a role called member. Now what we'll have to do is go back to the panel, click Tools and Utilities, and Auto Role, and we'll set the role to member. We will leave the minutes of membership required at zero, which means it will give them the role the instant they join the server. We'll leave the require one of the roles and ignore the roles as blank, and we'll make sure that it says only assign role when they join and do not give it back. This doesn't really matter, it's personal preference, but what this means is that if you remove the member role from someone after they join, the bot will not give it back to them. That's the basic setup, but we also get people saying, how do I assign more than one role when they join? This is a bit more advanced. Instead of using this plugin, we're actually gonna use the join message feature found in notifications and feeds general. Now, we couldn't leave the join message that we had earlier, or we can have no message at all. But what this will allow us to do is execute a code that will give the user multiple roles. And so first we'll head back to the server. And for this example, we'll give them both the role member and member two, which is a pointless role, but I'm just doing it for the example of this video. Now what we'll need to do is we'll need to go to a channel and type dash list roles or whatever you've set your prefix to be. And we'll get the ID for this role. There's a way to do it with role names, but it's more stable if you choose to do it through the role ID. So let's copy the ID. So let's head back to the panel, go to notifications and feeds general and add this special code. Give role ID dot user dot ID and then paste the role ID. I will put this in the description and I will add it so that it says insert role ID here. So you delete this whole piece here and you insert the role ID. That's for the member role and next we'll do it for the member two role. Let's copy this and paste it again. Oops. Bam, now both the roles are set up. Let's save our changes and we're done. You can do this with up to as many roles as you want, just each one has to be on a different line, each with the same code, just with a different role ID. As always, if there's any issues, you can always ask in the comments below or join the support server. That's all for this video, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and feel free to comment down below with any questions you have, and I'll be sure to get to as many of them as I possibly can. If you have further questions, feel free to join the support server at ac30.com slash and the link is also in the description down below. Thanks, guys.